What's up guys, it's your daily twin flame reading. I'm Ashley Gillard and I am super happy to bring forth this message for the collective. Um, take it as it resonates. If it resonates, thumbs up. If it doesn't resonate, thumbs up. Uh, this is a general reading, so you know how that goes. Usually my energy, my readings are assessing the overall energy and the environment, giving advice, spiritual advice, and or a spiritual message on what you need to do to take advantage of the energy that's happening in the atmosphere. And so, overall energy of this reading, we have the Six of Wands and the Lovers, the Four of Cups wanting to show itself as well, Three of Wands under there. But this is about successfully coming together as a union, as a pair, um, divine masculine and feminine energies internally and externally. When I say internally, I mean the dualities of yourself. When I say externally, I mean your partnership. So once you become whole, your partner becomes whole and you come together. Um, it's turning a no into a yes. So this is... um. You were rejected, you were denied, but these no's are about to turn into yeses. Uh, what else? What, I, what am I feeling? In this? It's not going to be easy. So another thing that comes to mind when I'm looking at this reading is it's not going to be easy. So yes, you'll successfully come. You have the potential to successfully come together. I don't like to speak in absolute because these readings, these energy readings, um, beware of somebody saying this is definitely going to happen because... That's not honesty. What's honest is this is the energy. If you do this, if that person does this, then that's what manifests because you worked with the energy. The energy doesn't work alone. You work with the energy. So, for example, if you get a reading, how do I make a million dollars? And I've done that before. Ooh, powerful message that I got for that person. And it was, it gave the tools, and I know for a fact it was factual tools. It gave the answer to a million dollars. But if that person does not do what the reading says, that million dollars is not just going to fall into that person's lap or anyone's. So when you get these readings, take the advice and use it. Use the, and if you would like the outcome, take advantage of the energy and the message that was brought forward towards you. Use the advice, follow the advice, and... Especially if the reading resonates, especially, especially, especially if you get a personal reading, they go from there. But don't just say, oh, this is about to happen because I had, I watched a general reading on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Or, you know, this is what's going to happen without me working with it. No. Work, faith and works. It comes together. Spirit, masculine and feminine. Literally. The physicality of it. The putting, the, getting your hands dirty, putting the work in and the spiritual aspect of it as well. Anyway. Overall energy of this reading, turning a no to a yes, and coming into union, coming into union with yourself and with your partner. The first thing we have is the Four of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Main energy, Four of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Wands. Something is coming together very quickly. This is achievements, this is success. This is using masculine and feminine energies to manifest personal achievement and success, personal fulfillment, and just being one and whole within yourself. And that is going to happen quickly. Success and achievement and wholeness is happening quickly when you become one with yourself. When you use your masculine energy to the fullest, you use your spiritual feminine energy to the fullest, and you balance both. Manifestation comes very quickly for you, and that's clarified by the star and the judgment card. This is the unit, the main energy is the star clarified by judgment. The star is recognition. In this reading, the star is recognition. The star is things manifesting. The star is receiving everything that you deserve because with the judgment clarified by the judgment because it's divinely led. You followed the light, you followed the energy, you put in the work. You stayed in tune with your spirit and the judge and God and universe is blessing you because of it. So you, you're receiving. This is your due season. This is your due time to receive the recognition, the following, the um, the success and achieving because you put the work in, because you balanced your internal energies and you're receiving because of it. Next energy we have is the lovers. Once that happened, here comes love. Main energy is the lovers. Clarification is the number five, but the five of swords and the five of wands. The lovers, five of swords, five of wands. 
God's grace. Five is the number of God's grace. So we have the lovers coming in. Once you re divinely receiving and you have you have been put in a position that can only be explained by God. Period. Like the universe and God. It's like you have been brought to this place of recognition, maybe even fame, um, notoriety because God. That's it's like because God. Sorry, I, I have no other words for that. But then. The lovers come in as well, bringing in blessings, blessing your union, blessing you and your divine partner, and bringing you two together. But when God lays a hand, you have opposing forces, equal and opposing opposites. You have opposing forces. So um, you have conflict and competition comes in. It's like regardless of this conflict and com competition, you still win because, again, five is the number of God's grace. So it's like you still come together with your divine partner. It still works out in the end, but you're going to have you're going to go through a period of. It's going to take some work. Let's just, let's just put it like that. It's not just going to manifest it all happily ever after. Yeah, you'll come together with your divine partner, but it may cause a little conflict and chaos. But in the end, you win. Again, you have God's grace. You're favored. So, then you have the Five of Pentacles. Oddly placed in this reading. Five, five, five. You notice that? The number of change, divine led, big changes, major changes in your life. You have the Five of Pentacles right after that. So, what is that telling me? Um, clarified by the Four of Cups. You getting this offer? So whoever is watching this reading, whether you resonate as the masculine or feminine, um, you'll know where to place yourself in this reading. So either you're giving the offer or you're getting the offer. So this offer comes in and it's denied, probably because of the conflict and the competition going on with the lover's energy. So it's like, mm, yeah, the lover's coming in. The, right, the next card, main energy right after it is... Eight of Pentacles. So you say no because you want to work. You, you're focusing on your craft. You're focusing on you focusing on what makes you happy. Your work. You're getting recognition. You're getting success and achievement. When people reach that level of success and achievement, it is hard not to focus on it and work on it and manifest it and grow it. So instead of focusing on this partnership with your divine partner, you decide to focus on work. And again, to clarify, the Five of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Wands. Clarifying the same thing that I just said. You, it hurts, but you're letting this go because you don't have time for the conflict. You don't have time for the drama. And you want to focus on your future. You want to focus on your plans. You want to manifest your strategy. You're focusing on the things that grow you, that brings you happiness that brings you fulfillment and you're saying no to anything that doesn't and you may have experienced a little hurt and pain you may have experienced um some rejection in this partnership so you're just like you know what i'm not focusing on the external masculine and feminine energies i want to focus on me as a divine person as one with god masculine and feminine energy three as in one I want to focus on growing that. I want to focus on growing my brand and my energy. I want to focus on my plans and for the future and, and manifesting those things instead of focusing on a relationship, even if it's a divine partner. So you say, no, I've been getting this energy for several readings. Um, this, this rejecting energy of the feminine or this energy rejecting the um, masculine or feminine coming towards them. I've been getting a lot because um, perhaps this is the time period for that to happen. It's all a journey, guys. It's not, it's all a journey. So you may have to go through a little, it's not going to be peaches and cream. And it hasn't been peaches and cream. It gets there, but it's a journey. It's a process. Just like internal balance is a process, external balance is a process as well. So you're focusing on your work. Oh, I love this card. Look at that paint. Oh, so pretty. So stinking cute. So you're focused on your work. You focus on it. You're following your heart. Your heart desires. You're following your heart's desires and you focus on your work. So this is phase. Let's call this phase one. Phase one. 
you finally get to a level of internal balance and it manifests things for you very quickly. Brings in recognition, possibly fame, brings in energy, brings in receiving from the divine and the level that can only be explained by God. It brings in potential love interest, a divine partnership, but that also brings drama and it brings conflict. So you say, you know what? I don't have time for that. Save the drama for your mama. <laughs> Old school. And you end it. You say no. You end it and you continuously focus on your work. You focus on your future. you mastering your craft because that brings you happiness and you follow your heart. Let's call that phase one. Okay. Then out the blue, boom, phase two. It starts with the Wheel of Fortune. You've been working your ads off and it brings more blessings. It brings more opportunity and blessings for you. It brings fulfillment and happiness. But this change also brings a change in your external partnership. Then we have the Six of Wands, which is balance. I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles, which is balance. I feel like this is also balance on a whole nother level because you have several, several cards in here uh, balance. You have the six of pentacles. You have the four of wands. You have the lovers. You have the judgment, the justice card coming up, and the two of pentacles. But what's peculiar is you have the six of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the justice card right by each other. All three alluding to balance. All three alluding to balance. But you have this wheel of fortune, this change of events that changes things and brings things in your favor. So when you put the in masculine energy into it, it matches, it brings it back. It matches you. So you've been giving, you've been giving, you've been giving, and there are fortunate change of events happening. So now you're receiving. Oh man, these clarifying cards of one of these. Okay. Um, but let's talk about it together. Then you have the Two of Pentacles. Again, clarifying balance. So I'm getting the same energy. This is infinity. Look at that infinity sign. Bringing balance and blessings. Balance and blessings. What is it? Because you followed your passion. You, put, you followed your heart and your passion. You have the Queen of Cups now. And you maintain in control of your emotions. You followed that passion and you channeled that energy to manifest blessings. You channeled your heart. You channeled, channeled your emotions to find balance. And when I think about the emotions, I think of the six emotive attributes of the tree of life, zero umpen. And you, it's like you found a balance between them and you use that energy to manifest opportunities. Right after the will of fortune, we got balance and opportunities. We got a new phase of life. You also have the ten of pentacles. So again, clarifying the, change of events that a fortune change of events that brings things in your favor you have opportunities you have best things you have internal tranquility passion using that passion to manifest a new phase of life and balance within your in your heart body mind body and soul so heart mind body and soul then you have justice balance again this reading oh man it could be a libra energy um that's my energy as well but it's just a lot of balance in this reading. And what is this? You use, maybe perhaps it was your masculine energy that was imbalanced. Because you have the tower. I believe the tower is Mars too. And the emperor is Mars too. But you have the world. You have the tower. And you have the emperor. It's like you receive justice. You win the war. I don't know if you guys know this, but... Being on a twin flame journey, um, balancing the your internal masculine feminine, feminine energy and external, it is spiritual warfare. So this is with the with the tower, with this Mars energy I'm getting, you won the war. You won the war. You balance the energies. You won the spiritual war. And it brings you blessings. It brings you a powerful change in your life. You balance your masculine energy, you balance your feminine energy, and it brings you, you've won the war. Here, it's like you've won the war. Then, when winning the war, an external partnership is coming together with their divine partner. It Winning the world war internally means you've balanced your masculine and feminine energies and you're one with God again as it... Just think about it, and I don't know what you believe in, but just think about the Bible and Adam, Eve, and God. And don't think of it as people and genders. Think of it as masculine, feminine, and Peter. 
um, or God, you can say God, the light. So masculine, feminine, and light becoming one again. So you've become one in yourself with the light and your masculine and feminine energy and the light. And then so that wins the spiritual war within yourself. Externally, your partner has become one with the light as well. And y'all come together. You won the war. Um, so that brings the queen of swords. Look at her. She won a war. She, her sword. She's like, okay, I won. There, there's no more need to fight. Look at the two pyramids behind her. There's no more need. There's no need to fight anymore because I won. Achievement, success, um, balance, union. Look at the Queen of Swords with the Four of Wands. I literally just talked about this. You won internally and externally. You know who you are. You've become one. You've become who you are. There's this song. It's like, I'm just trying to find me. I'm just trying to be me. I'm just trying to be me. Like, that's what it is. You found you. And when your partner, finding your partner as well and becoming one with your partner is also finding you. So you found you internally and you found you externally. This is a dope reading. Um, if you resonate with this, continue to find balance. Continue to work towards union of your dualities because it brings you, you win. Because in the end you win. Because you're winning right now. To be in this energy, you're winning, right? You've already won. You've already won. Wow. This is dope. This reading was brought to you by um, my book, The Personification of Beauty by Ashley Gillard, Tomisha Wilson, and Santrice Dewberry. Find us on Amazon. Let us know what you think. Click the like, subscribe, and comment button if you resonate with this reading. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And if you're a subscriber, I appreciate you all as well. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. This would